Family Search has an option called Family Tree Light that you can use on your phone. Family Tree Light is targeted at individuals who don't have a lot of bandwidth and would like to access Family Search's Family Tree from their mobile phone. Let's look at it. If you go to light.fs.org, that's l i t e dot f s dot org, you will notice that you get prompted to log in. These are the same credentials you use at familysearch.org or churchofjesuschrist.org. If you put in your username and password and hit sign in, it will take you right into the family tree light. Let's look at some of the things that Family Tree Light does. You access Family Tree Light from a phone or a computer. It allows you to enter from memory four generations. It directly updates Family Search's Family Tree. Understand that when you're updating Family Tree Light, you're actually updating Family Search's Family Tree on the back end. So it's all consistent. It's all in the same place. And what's particularly compelling about Family Tree Light is that it works in a very low bandwidth location and it minimizes the data transfer. So if you're on a very tight budget with a tight data plan or your phone isn't that robust, Family Tree Light is a very good option for you. Some capabilities of Family Tree Light is to be able to view and find names in the family tree. You can add and edit family members and reserve names for temple ordinances, all within Family Tree Light. Regardless of where you are, you can bring that up on your phone. You can access Family Tree Light and load your four generations, or you can go to a particular individual in the tree, add information, regardless of where you are, you can bring that up on your phone. You can access Family Tree Light and load your four generations, or you can go to a particular individual in the tree, add additional information for them, and reserve the temple ordinances. Let's look at the flow. When you go to light.fs.org, if you don't have a Family Search account, you can click on free account to register if you haven't done so already. If you have registered and you know your username and password, you can go ahead and put in the username and password and then click sign in. You may also want to check to stay signed in for two weeks to be able to more easily access Family Tree Light. Once you sign in, for those that are first timers, you won't have much of a tree there. It'll just be yourself. The nice thing about Family Tree Light is that it prompts you immediately to enter your spouse, to add your children, to add your parents right on your phone. Once you get that loaded, you'll see them and all four generations will show up on the very first page as you swipe up. The other nice feature that's in Family Tree Light is that you can find anyone in the tree. Let's look at that. If you click on Find in Family Tree Light, that'll bring up three different ways to be able to find individuals. You can find them by name, by ID, or simply look at the history of different individuals you've looked at. In this particular example, let's go ahead and do a Find by ID. If we put in this particular ID, LZ27Y5B and then hit find will bring up Ephraim Knowlton Hanks. You'll see the information comes straight back from Family Search's Family Tree and it presents it there in Family Tree Light. You'll see his spouse and father and mother, etc. If you click View Family, that will take you back to where you can see more of a tree view. As you swipe up, it will show all the different relatives of Ephraim Knowlton Hanks, 
his spouse, children, his parents, his grandparents. You'll be able to see all the different family members. That's the difference between the person view, the family view, and the find feature. If you happen to come across an individual and family tree light that has a green temple, it indicates that they qualify to be reserved. From the person view, you can then swipe up, which will reveal their ordinances. And if they're qualified and ready to go to the temple, the request button will be available for you to go ahead and request those ordinances for that ancestor. If you click on request, it'll come up to identify which ordinances you want to request. You simply check the boxes and touch the blue request button. This will reserve those ordinances for you inside of the family tree. Now, if you hit view ordinances or touch on the temple, that will take you over to the temple reservation list where you can request ordinances. If you check the boxes for the individual you want to take to the temple, you check the box and hit take to the temple. That will provide you a request number that you can either write down or you can screenshot the page into your photos. If you take that request number or photo to the temple, they will be able to print out temple cards for you. Once the ordinance is completed, you will notice in Family Tree Light that they will be recorded as being completed. Family Tree Light is available in six languages, English, Spanish, Portuguese, French, Italian, and German. It does not contain photos or memories. To recap, this is Family Tree Light. It enables more family gathering by allowing you to enter information directly into Light. It provides access to the family tree from a mobile phone without any install. It allows you to enter your family information it directly updates family search family tree. It works in low bandwidth locations and minimizes data transfer to decrease the cost of your data plan.